Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're trying to find the area of this blue region. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, I'm noticing we can split this up in a couple different ways. And I want to focus on this part right here. Let's get rid of the question mark and continue this line right here. So let's call this portion X. And then since 28 is double the 14, this blue portion would be 2X. And now that we've introduced this line, we can also split it up this way. Next, let's focus on this portion right here, called this side of the purple rectangle Y. And then 105 is three times 35, so this would be three Y. So now let's split this up. We know that all of this stuff is gonna be one third of all of this stuff, so we can set up a proportion. On top, it'd be this whole area, which would be X plus 14 plus 35. And on bottom, it would be this whole area, which would be two X plus 28 plus 21 plus 105. Now let's clean this up. On top here, we can do 14 plus 35 to give us 49. And then on bottom, the 28 plus 21 is also 49. And then 49 plus 105 is 154. Next, we can cross multiply. We get three times the quantity X plus 49 is equal to one times the quantity two X plus 154. And then we can distribute this three to both of these terms. Three times X is three X and three times 49 is 147. And then on the right-hand side, this one isn't doing anything, so we have 2x plus 154. Now we have an x on both sides of the equation. Let's get all the x's to one side. We can do that by subtracting 2x from both sides of the equation. After we do this, we'll have an x on this side, so let's get rid of this 147 by subtracting 147 from both sides. These two 147s will cancel each other out, and these two 2x's two will cancel each other out. We end up with 3x minus 2x is equal to x, and 154 minus 147 is 7. x is equal to 7. So now we can come back up here, and in the place of the x, we can plug in 7. And in the place of the 2x, we can plug in 14. And 7 plus 14 is equal to 21. So the area of the blue region is equal to 21, so our question mark is equal to 21 square units. This is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. I think this problem was brilliant. Speaking of brilliant, let's talk about brilliant. Brilliant has thousands of lessons to choose from, and all of them are interactive. You learn by doing. I really enjoyed this course on scientific thinking. It starts with simple machines like gears and pulleys, and then it eventually worked up to Einstein's special theory of relativity. One of my favorite parts were all the fun thought experiment questions. For example, if we have this distance time graph, where the y-axis is time in years and the x-axis is distance in light years. So while you're at the Space Rock concert, a rumor is spread that the Starnival concert in two years is not going to be any good. And the question is asking, will the negative rumor affect the attendance of the Starnival concert in two years? And the answer is no, because while the Starnival concert is two years in the future, the distance is three light years away. So the news of the rumor would not even reach anybody who's going to attend this concert. I'm struggling to explain it in just one sentence. So if you want to go through it yourself, Brilliant currently has a free 30-day trial. Visit brilliant.org slash andymath or check out the link in the description. You can also get 20% off an annual premium plan. If you wanted to go through this one, the name of the course is Scientific Thinking. How exciting.